Hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be discussing with you how I curl images before sending them to Lightroom for editing. In case you are wondering what curling is, it is the process of removing all the um, unwanted images from the lot of images you have taken. So let's say you go to a wedding, you take thousand pictures, definitely you have bad ones in them. How do you take all those bad images out? You can do them one by one by deleting them, but that will take a very long time. So what do you do? You need a software to do that. And over the years, I've used Lightroom to do the curling process. And trust me, it hasn't been easy at all. And then finally, I came across this software, Fast Raw Viewer. And this software has been a workhorse for me for the past six months. And I think I should share it with you guys so that you can also apply it to your workflow. Uh, for your information, I'm not being paid to all. This is not a sponsored video for fast Raw view, but I think it's a very powerful software and then every photographer should be using it. And aside it's been powerful, even more than photo mechanic as described in some reviews, it is incredibly cheaper. So today I will be showing you how I use the fast Raw viewer to curl images. And I'll be showing you some basic things I do with a fast Raw viewer so that it can also help you speed up your workflow. Let's get into the software. If you want to download this software, you can download it by just typing Fast Draw Viewer in Google and then it will open up. You get a 30 days free trial. When you like it, move ahead and buy it. If you are in Ghana or any other country that you can't make the payments, try buying it from BNH Photos. That's why I bought mine. It will help you a lot. Enough of the talking. Let me show you how I use the Fast Draw Viewer to speed up my workflow. Let's get into it. I've set Fast Row Viewer as the default app to open raw images on my computer. So when I double click or open any raw image, it will open in Fast Row Viewer. So it is loading up. And as you can see, it has opened. So I have a group of images here. You can see these are raw photos, but you can see how fast it is. So usually what I do is I click on the not set and allow the uh, software to load all the images. Then I can get, just uncheck it and then start working with it. So now that it has all loaded, you can see that I can scroll through these images as fast as possible. These are raw photos. These are raw photos. And one good thing about Fast Raw Viewer is it's even giving you a histogram over here for you to see your details. It is showing the as if data the folder, you can add a bunch of panels to your workspace depending on what you want. But in my case, I like this simple look. So you can see how scrolling through these images as fast as possible. So how do I select the best images out of the lot? Now I'll go to the software, click on the first image. If I like this image, all I'll do is just assign a number to it. So one, two, three, four, five will give you a star rating of one, two, three, four, five. Then as you download this software and you keep on using it, you also discover other ways to sort out your pictures. But I like the one, two, three numbering method. So I go with that. So let's say for this image, if I like this image, all I will do is maybe hit four, then move to the next one. If I like this, I'll just click four. If I don't like it, just keep it. Go forward just like that. So before I started this tutorial, I already rated these images and I usually use three to rate my images. When I go to Lightroom and I feel like um, this is the first image I want to edit, I rate it by four. It is difficult for me to give five ratings to images unless of course uh, they are super, super, super cool. Depending on your own preferences, you can assign the number as you want. You can even rate them one, two or whatever. But know that it goes up to five. The maximum is five. So if I like this image, I'll just click on my three. So if maybe you accidentally select an image and you don't want to use that image, maybe you rated this one three and you don't like it, just click on zero, type on zero, and then it will clear the rating for you. Now, this is in raw. If I want to look at zooming into this image, just click on Z on the keyboard it will zoom in 100% then you can use your mouse or whatever to move the image and then look at the sharpness or something. Then you just click on Z, Z again and then 
you are back to the normal view. Now, this is in this image we are viewing is the raw version of what I took with my camera. And for your notice, I used a Canon M50. This is my first time of taking pictures with it. If I want to look at the JPEG preview of this image, all you just do is type on J. So this is the JPEG of this image. When I shoot, I shoot in raw and JPEG. This the JPEG of this image. This is the raw of this image. JPEG raw. So when I go and I want to see the JPEG of this image, just J. So that you can maybe look at how this image is being processed by the camera or something. So after rating all these images, I want to send the ones I rated three to Lightroom for editing or whether you're using Photoshop or Capture One Pro, just click on the three, type G. G will show all the pictures in a grid form for you so that you can look at it. And then I select all by just typing on Control A. So Control A will select all the images I want to use. So if I want to send this to Lightroom, all I do is right click, run program. So one good thing about this software is it identifies all the editing softwares you have on your computer. I have Photoshop, Lightroom, and then Capture One Pro. Those are the three major softwares that are out there for editing and retouching. So when I click on Photoshop, it will open the images in Photoshop. But in this case, I want to edit in Lightroom. So I'll just click on Lightroom. Then it will open Lightroom. So as you can see, all the images I've selected in Fast Draw Viewer will now open in Lightroom for me to work with. So you see, it has selected 22 images. When you come to Fast Draw Viewer, it has selected 23 images. Import. I'm good to go. Now I can edit all these pictures in Lightroom. So this is how I sort out images before sending them into Lightroom for editing. If you have found this video useful and you'd like to download this software and use for yourself, you have, remember you have 30 days free trial. And after that, I don't know the current price. You can check it out. Uh, it's around $30 something. You can download and then have a look at it. If you have found this video useful, kindly like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section for me. If you want me to discuss any of um, my workflows or how you think I do something, or you have a topic in mind that you want me to discuss, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions for me as well, you can leave it in the comment section below. And please, if you have not subscribed yet, remember, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. I hope to see you in the next one.